Once Upon a Time podcast, Season 4, Episode 3, Rocky Road. In this episode, the town blimps also on a fatal, icy spell is cast on Marion, not knowing that another resident has the same powers. And Mar- meanwhile, Mary Margaret struggles to balance motherhood and leading the town. I'm your host, Molly Southgate, and with me is... Martha Southgate. And... Rob Southgate. Why is it called Rocky Road? Because they Because they went along in Rocky Road. Come on. They ordered Rocky Road. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> where, where, there's no Rocky Road in the... Oh, Rocky yeah. Road ice cream. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you got that? Well, yeah. Because oh. it's Robin Hood. I kept looking. I'm like, there's no rocky road there. Huh? Like, there was no, no one made a rocky road. I didn't know what was going I on. I don't. They had to travel along in rocky road. <laughs> the that's what you rocky meant by road. That's what you thought they meant by a rocky road. Yes. yes. A road that rocks. Yeah. A rock and road. Oh, Rock and Robin. That's Mom's favorite song. Oh, yeah, it is. Rob it's about Robin Hood. Rob, about Robin Hood. <laughs> Rob has a cousin. Your father has a cousin. Their last name is Rose, I, and they named. I, their... I have three cousins. No, but they, the one Rose. named their dog Rocky. Rocky uh, Rhodes. Yeah. Well, wow, that's interesting. Little little tidbit there for everybody. Cool. Shh. Dan has a cousin. Whoa. I have six cousins. I know. I'm joking. You have so little compared to Mom's cousins. Yes. All right. Can we get into this one? Everyone's heard my family history. <laughs> Sorted as it may be. Like, look. You're no Elsa. No. All right. So we've got Robin and Marion mm-hmm. and Ronan. That sounds like the Bee Gees. Walking into town. Uh-huh. And they're trying to convince her to like it. Right. Yeah. Telling that her all the things that they've they've fallen in love with with the town. Mm-hmm. Need mean the least of which is Regina. Yeah, right. Um, well, and then Ronan is like, "Oh, can we go in and get ice cream?" Regina, Regina let, let me. me. Yes. Yeah. So they go in the ice cream shop, and Marion meets the Snow Queen, and she enchanted her ice cream. Yeah. What happens to her? And she is a popsicle. As Grumpy said, <laughs> she is. As Grumpy said, who can else can make a human popsicle? She is. A they popsicle. thought it was Elsa, though. Yeah, it wasn't Elsa. Nope, Snow Queen. Elsa's been framed. Yes. Rumpel claims he doesn't know anything about Anna or Elsa, and Elsa doesn't remember, so she can't call him on it because right. she has no memories of that time. And and he had Belle use the fake dagger. Uh huh. You thought it was real, Rob. I did think it was real, but you I know what? Did I too. Well, remember he gave it to her, but then I forgot that he took it back when he did the magic that made the Mickey hat. Uh huh. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I don't know if you remember. Of course, I, I remember. Do. The but that was the that was the magic dagger, right. and I forgot that he had taken it for that. So he had Belle hold the dagger up and do her thing. Which would convince everybody that he was telling the truth, that he didn't know anything about Anna or Elsa. Liar! Right! Yeah. Yeah, I love how he did that, too. And he, he was like, uh, What'd you say? Yeah, if I, if I give her the dagger, she can control me. Right. And she asked the question, she's like, Nope, see? This is what happened. Oh, he's oh, such please. a fraud. What did you say, Molly? He's having some issues. He's having some issues. <laughs> um, so, Snow... Maybe his experience was the rocky road. No. No, it's the ice cream. Um, okay. Yeah. I don't think it's a figurative Rocky Road. <laughs> I think yeah. we've already determined that. Snow opened up her office for a fireside chat. I thought that was cute. Oh, it's awesome. And, fireside uh, chat. I... The Downs people are not happy That's about That's what they Elsa. call it, Molly, when uh, the president used to do a, a radio thing, and he'd call it the president's fireside chat. Oh. And people would listen in. He'd, he'd supposedly sit by the fire and he'd give kind of an update on things that were happening, and that. So when the mayor does it, it's called a fireside chat, where she gives kind of a hey, she getting decided to know everybody. To and, she called it that, right? Because she's trying to make a kinder, gentler mayor's right. office. <laughs> Instead, it turned into like a town meeting oh, in Pawnee. Oh, you invited Grumpy. Yeah, it totally was. You invited Grumpy and Granny, and they're gonna they're they are rebel rousers. They are oh, gonna cause trouble. Oh yeah, everywhere they go. So she opened a, and she wouldn't. Um, David tried to hold uh-huh. the baby. He said, I'll take the baby. Uh-huh. You go ahead and do this. She's like, no, no, I can do it. I can do it. Her, your first fireside chat 
holding a baby. Right. Yeah. And That's I, what David said to yeah. her. I was quoting something. And I think that um, I think it was fine for her to do that, but not then Grumpy and Granny started and made the baby cry because mm-hmm. they were causing trouble. And um, and then Marion collapsed and turned to ice right there in the middle of it all. Yep. So She got the, uh, uh, the Anna white streak in her hand. Yeah, the snow. Yep. Uh-huh. Like the so, icy thing. hands up. Who hopes that Marion freezes and is done? Okay, here's my question. <laughs> oh, that mean, huh? If Marion is just frozen and still alive, uh-huh. it doesn't make any difference. Robin Hood can't do anything about it. Right. He has, then it, Then they just... Well, and that, but that's what Regina said also. Yeah. We, like, she's still she's alive. She's gotta go. Even though it's pretty clear what's going on. Now, here's the other thing, though. When she's frozen there, yeah. mm-hmm. and Robin Hood says to Regina, you know, the true love's first kiss didn't necessarily work because my heart belongs to another. Don't you think that Marion is hearing this? Do you think that she's, like, completely frozen, ice in the ears, or do you think she heard that? So when she thaws she out... She wasn't there. Yeah, she was. She was, <laughs> she was she laying was there. She was right next to Yeah. <laughs> I thought that he was at her house or something. No, what? she was. There's a big ice block next to him there. I thought maybe she she was having a shrimp. No, party and Regina later. handled that very well. Shrimp by the way, party. Regina's awesome. Yes. Okay. Well, you know the first. She's not having a shrimp party. Well, a I shrimp know. party. The first I episode, I thought Regina was going to just go evil and be like secretively evil, and they were kind of alluding to that. But this episode, you saw that character development still. And I think the biggest thing that happened for that was when Henry said to her, you have changed your story. We have to convince the writer that you're not that evil queen. I thought that was, I mean, for me, if, if, if I was that character, I'd be like, let's talk about this. I have to embrace this side. So Henry's in the diner and Regina brings him comic books. Oh, and yeah. she's trying to... She brought him Thor. Yep. Oh, did she? Yeah. She's trying to kind of... And shield. And shield. Go around the back door a little bit <laughs> and get... She's trying to get information out of Henry. Right. But he's, of course, too smart for this. So he he's just on to her. But she wants to know who wrote the book. Right. And and she said, you know, I was written as, as a villain and I want a happy ending. Mm-hmm. And he loves the idea, of course, so they create a new secret operation. Yeah. Operation... Mongoose. <laughs> mongoose. I like that name. Uh-huh. There's something, there's a reason she chose Mongoose. No, there wasn't. <laughs> there really wasn't. Why else okay. would she have chosen it? Because it sounded cool. Like Viper, that sounds cool. Cobra? Right. You mean Cobra? But you, you might be right. There might be a reason... That she chose mongoose. That she chose mongoose. Like, if we look into what mongoose do. But all I know about mongoose is Ricky Ticky Tabby, and he ate eggs. That's what I know. Ricky Ticky Tabby ate (laughs) eggs? Yeah, don't you remember that movie? That was like a cartoon, a movie cartoon. Who's Ricky? Ricky Ticky Tabby. And he was a mongoose, and he ate the bird's egg. That's all I remember. I thought Ricky Most of my knowledge comes from TV. What's the one with the, where the kid got the really long name? Ricky Ticky Tabby, Yo So Dabby. The mom gave him, the firstborn had a really short name, and the second, bo- the other one, or the firstborn had a really, 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 really long name. Okay, all I know is... Isn't that Ricky Ticky Tabby? No, there was, a, there was a cartoon called Ricky Ticky Tabby, and he was like a mongoose. Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking of Ricky, oh, something no. Rumble Tembo. Rumpelstiltskin? Ricky Tiki 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 Tembo. Tembo. <laughs> oh, this What's is Ricky Tiki. Ricky Tiki Tembo, you know, so yumbo. Blah, 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 da, 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 da. And then the kid dies in the well or something because his name's too long and they can't see <laughs> And then save he turns him. into Batman. Yes. And the bats. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, this is all gone terribly wrong. So Operation Mongoose is in. Yes. There's something about a mongoose. Okay. And Robin comes in to get Regina's help. That's why I was saying. Mongoose eat Robin's eggs. That's what it is. No, I'm kidding. Oh, wait. No, that was You almost fell for that one. So Robin comes in to grab Regina to come help at the mayor's office. And how hysterical was that when she uh-huh. walks into the mayor's office and she sees that picture completely that out was of place? The worst picture. And, too. and she goes, "What is that?" And then, and then uh, Snow says, "I'm trying to bring a little of myself in there." And, and she's like, "Well, you definitely did." No, no, better than that. She goes, 
Well, you've succeeded hideously. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was the worst picture oh, too. It was fantastic. Yeah. But it was awesome that it was a blue bird. Oh, it was it. just so and she bright had it, like, and up gaudy there, and where, like... where she has all those white and black trees. She has it up in that. That was very oh, it funny. was just yeah. too much. So um... I would put that in a nice yellow bedroom. That picture? Yeah. Oh well, that we're not letting you, you decorate need to our house. Redecorate the. She needs to redecorate the mayor's office. That's right. So Hook, Emma, and Elsa come in. And that's when they they say, you know, the only thing that could save her, Elsa says, is true love's kiss. And Robin can't break it, of course, yeah. because he's in love with Regina. Well, he claimed but it was why, because she was still frozen. But why didn't they bring Ronan? Yeah. Henry because Rosen broke is loving Regina Rosen. right now. Rosen. <laughs> Rosie. Ro- yeah, Ro- Ronan because is loving Ricky Regina Ticky because Robin, he buys Ro- her ice cream. Rosie. Okay, he doesn't love Regina right now. But the fact of the matter is, Henry's the one who broke the spell for Regina. You know who couldn't break the spell is me. I'm not loving Marion. I can't stand her. I... And but what the, was see, up the with her is, dry hair? The, see, the thing is, with Marion, you know, we're not liking her because we want Regina and Robin Hood together. No, but I don't really, like her anyway. But, but... I just don't want to like her. Okay. Oh, How about okay. that? All I right. would like her if she wasn't with Robin Hood. You would? Yeah. I wouldn't. Because you just want to be crabby, so that's why you don't like it. Yeah, me. you're like Doctor Who, all crabby. With mm-hmm. my attack eyebrows. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's funny because we said that in a Doctor Who episode. Yes, I'm Kaku did. for Kaku. <laughs> <laughs> Cuckoo for who? <laughs> Kaka for who? Kaka for who? <laughs> so... Emma, what is up with Emma in this whole episode? She keeps giving Hook the smackdown. Yeah. Telling him, go sit in the in the station, take Elsa and hide out in the station. Go do this, do that. Like She's just bossing him around the whole time. You know what? I am unfamiliar with that. Well, yeah, but yeah. the difference is she's so saying it because she loves him. Oh, <laughs> so painful. Uh, she said in the end, because he, he finally confronts her about it, and she said... I, I am trying to protect you. Everybody I care about dies. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, technically not everybody. Everyone she Henry, falls in love dead. with. <laughs> David and Snow, all gone. She loved Marion. Dead. Yeah. Look what happened to Marion. Yep. Popsicle chick. Yep. Did you just call Marion a popsicle chick? Yep. <laughs> like a popsicle stick. <laughs> if they push her feet and she sits up, she'd be a push-up. Nice. Yeah. I don't get it. Good, because I don't feed you that. Oh, okay. A a (laughs) push-up is an orange sherbet ice cream. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you push up the stick from the bottom, and it comes out through the cardboard. Yep. And you drink it. Well, Well, you you... wouldn't drink it unless you waited so long that it melted. Right. You weirdo. It's my energy drinks. And then you you lick out the cardboard, and it, it, like, cuts your mouth. It's horrible. You, why do you like out cardboard? Because you That's want the container every it's a, No, bit I don't like orange sherbet. sherbet. It tastes like St. Joseph aspirin. Reminds no, it tastes like my, all sorts of awesomeness. It reminds me of my fevers. As Everything a child. reminds me <laughs> of <your> fevers. <laughs> Everything reminds you of even These crazy fevers sound. were quite traumatic. I did. I was sick a lot. Uh huh. With my fevers. Now we're just sick of you. Exactly. Oh. Oh. Clearly, it's given me some brain damage. Yeah, well. <laughs> um, some. Some. <laughs> <laughs> so Emma finds the knave. Yeah. Will. Yes. Scarlet. Scarlet is in our lives again. We've been waiting for him to show up. Oh, Here he now is. Now we need Red Queen and Alice. I- I'd like them to be there, but the Red Knave is who I was waiting for. I know, and- but still, I would love them all. But you Not know what? Alice. He hit. You don't want Alice in Storybrooke? No. Why? I don't know. I just don't want her. Uh oh. Do you have a thing about Alice? You no. don't like What her? is happening? Nothing. Uh oh. Are you I... being a mean girl about Alice? No. I like Alice. Remember Dark Alice when she, when they went down uh, in the pit? Would that be a Dallas? Yeah. And Dalek she was... da- Alice. <laughs> yeah, a Dalek Alice would be so awesome. A Dalek with an Alice I am going to be out of this podcast for the rest of the time because all I'm thinking about are Dalek Alices. Mom just said it's a Dalek with an Alice Except it's supposed to be Dalek. Uh Uh-oh, corrected. 
All right. Oh, Can we talk about Once Upon a Time? Are we, yeah. What are we talking about? You're talking about Doctor Who. And Alice. Okay, so Emma found Will Scarlet, and he tells Emma and David about the ice cream parlor. Uh-huh. And they go over there and break in. Emma, Emma shows them her handiwork. Yep. Breaks in. Wait, he's like, it takes very careful. And he's, hey! No, dun, it doesn't. Dun, dun. Yep. Just get in like this. And Will Scarlet mm. stole. Yep. He robbed Well, the he's store. a thief! Yeah. He's a thief. He was a thief on Wonderland. He's a thief here. I didn't even Does he that. have his heart back? Yeah. He does. It ended with him having his heart back? Yeah. Okay. I wonder why he's there and we're not seeing the rest of them. We would only see the Red Queen because they're engaged. Where's the rabbit? Actually, Where's the rabbit? Yeah, the White Rabbit's been in Storybrook before. Yeah. So I, we could have a White Rabbit sighting at some point. Yeah, I know who we're going to have. Who? The Red Queen. Cause hopefully. Hopefully. Definitely, they're married. Ah, okay. Well, let's hope that happens. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Hook sees Rumple, and he calls him out on giving Belle the wrong dagger. Finally, uh-huh. somebody knew. Yes. And he said, if you work with me, I will keep silent. And I love how, how Rumpf was trying to like play his cards close to his vest there. Like, you don't know anything. And Hook uh-huh. had yeah, he him. he totally knew. Okay, well, we'll just go... We'll just have her summon you from another place, and when you don't show up, <laughs> she'll know. And he's like, mm, "Dang it, curses foiled again!" But Hook's <laughs> gonna get bitten badly. Oh yeah, you don't mess with Rumple. No. And uh, so they do that thing with the um, mm-hmm. Rumple does that thing with the snow. Right, uh-huh. he's done this before, where magic finds magic, and then he blows the snowflakes, and they have to wind through the woods to go follow it. Yeah. I thought it was just going to take him to the ice cream parlor, but yeah. no, they got to go out. No, on they got to find her. Well, she wasn't there. You know what? 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 <laughs> it would have. It could have just still taken him to the ice cream parlor, and they could have waited there, for her, and they'd be like, "Oh, we're at an ice cream parlor. How they about some Rocky eaten? Road?" There's the name of the episode because they went to the ice cream parlor. Got yes. it. And mom thinks it's about a rocky road. That's right. I used to spit out the nuts in the rocky road. Why? I didn't like What's rocky ro- road. But that's the whole point. It's rocky. They were cold road. and wet. Oh, uh, that's the whole point. <laughs> that really is. And it had like marshmallows them. in it. Oh, so and uh, chocolate. I'm, next time we go to Oberoi's, guess what I'm getting? Way to do an Oberoi's commercial. And chocolate sundae. It's not Rocky Road. What is I know. wrong with you? I know. I'm not getting Rocky Road. You're getting Rocky Road with push-up in it. <laughs> oh, sick. Okay. Oh, even I think that you're sounds getting, gross. No, you're, we're going to make you eat a Marion pop, a Marion popsicle. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it's like going to be all fleshy. You suck on her finger. It's going to be all fleshy. Ew, yeah. oh, gross. <laughs> Ew. Okay. Um, where the heck? So... Snow is trying to collapse the stroller. Right. After her disaster of a town meeting. Yeah. She's she's out there. She's still holding the baby. And Dr. Hopper comes up. Why didn't he help her? First of all, he didn't help her. But yeah. second of all, he gave her extremely bad advice. Right. He said, you're a mom now and you're doing this and that and that. Well, he was like Dr. Phil. You're a mom now. And he said, you need to... You need advice. You need to let go of certain things. Let go of him. Yeah. You don't tell a mother to let you go of her newborn. You need to let it go. See, I'm doing some good impressions. I don't get it. Yep. We don't like it. I don't. I'm trying to talk here. I don't. <laughs> I'm on my soapbox. Oh, okay. I don't appreciate him telling a, a new mother to put her baby down. Right. He should have said... Cut back on something else. Being mayor isn't necessarily important at the moment. He could, somebody else could step in and be mayor. David could do something, but he says, yeah. put the baby down. Yeah, the baby doesn't need you. Oh. Like that. It was very upsetting oh. to me. I would have you know said, buy a, a sling and wear the baby. I mean, come and on. he doesn't have a wife and child. Right. Crickets eat their baby's heads. So let's just keep it in perspective. So I just want anyone who is watching, don't oh. listen to Dr. Hopper. Your baby does need you. And, and put down everything else but the baby. Yes. Don't put down the baby. So as Hook and, we're, I'm just going all over the place, but Hook and, yeah. uh, and Elsa were going through the woods trying to follow yeah. the snowflakes. We're uh, going through the woods right now. He right. Was, we're in the weeds we're right in the now. Weeds. Yeah. He was using his hook and marking the trees. Yes. Yeah. And not a little bit. He no. was probably killing the trees because he was gouging them so deeply. <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah. to make X's, he could have brought, probably done something a little less dramatic. He could probably have just done a little ding and a mark. they find Snow Queen. Right. Yes. And she knows Elsa. Yes, yes, she does. And Elsa doesn't remember. Uh-huh. Right. So she doesn't know why she knows her. Okay. Yes. Okay, can I spoil who she is? Who the no, Snow Queen not is? yet. Okay, wait, no, because there's my one of my favorite lines. Okay. Of all time, there's Elsa and Hook are sitting by this log watching uh, the Snow Queen, and he pulls out oh, a I cell phone, this. and Elsa says, "What is that?" And he says, "It's it's this thing, you know." And he said, it, "All I know is it's got Emma. I, I just have to push a button, and Emma answers." Like, <laughs> right, and, says, and Emma Usual. talks to me. He says, "Usually," and then of course she, <laughs> she didn't, didn't when he called, uh-huh. but. Oh my gosh, the two of them trying to figure out a cell phone. Yeah. That was hysterical. That was funny. And uh, so go ahead. Well, so then we see the flashback. Yes. And who is she? She is Elsa's aunt. Well, if she's telling the truth. I don't know. I'm not know. convinced. I don't, she seems like she's lying. Through, I can't ever tell when she's lying or telling the truth. But what it could she be. She always seems like she's lying. You know what it could be? What? What? Is because remember, their their mom... Um, was trying to send them a message in a bottle about the truth, okay? You think she intercepted it? No, oh. no. I think it's going to come out that that the Snow Queen is actually Elsa's mom. And she and Anna are not sisters, not biological sisters. Oh, that's why they look so different? Right. And so she got. So I'm thinking that maybe she got trapped in, she was put in that thing, and they took the baby and raised the baby. Mm-hmm. And when they were running away, they weren't running away to get away from them. That's what they perceived. But that they were running away, uh, or they weren't running away at all. Uh-huh. That yeah. they were going off to try to break the curse on Elsa or something like that. Because yeah, they were going we to the de- Enchanted Forest. We already determined that they are going to break the curse. Right. But, but now we know where it's coming from. It's stemming from the Snow Queen. That's what I think. And the Snow Queen may or may not know that she's the mom. Yeah. No, she knows. Okay. She knows. Yep. She's doing this because if she says, I'm your mom, it, it opens up a whole different scenario for her. If she's the aunt and she can be loving and all that, right. it changes. It because if she says, I'm your mom and I was trapped and all that, it's like, what? Right. Why were you trapped? And, and that's going to be why she hates Elsa. Because she, she's going to hate, or I mean Emma. Or she, uh, Anna. Oh my gosh. Will you pick a character? Anna, Elsa. She froze hooked to the ground. And uh-huh. she, she, um, that'd be a hooksicle. <laughs> she only, only his feet. Oh. Ew. Oh, yuck. I wouldn't eat that. Well, it cooled off not. those. Well, stink- goes, ew, I wouldn't eat that. <laughs> those stinky leather covered feet would be, uh, oh, peeling but, it off. Ew. But the Snow Queen tells Elsa that, that the rock trolls are the ones who stole her memories. Yes. And that was interesting. Yeah. And that Anna is the one who put her in the urn. Mm hmm. Yeah. Do you believe that? Uh, no. No, you know? I think, I think, I, I can't see that Anna did that. Anna. No. What's her name? Anna? Anna. Yeah, okay. Don't call her Anna. Okay. It hurts my head. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Snow Queen was teaching Elsa a lesson, and that's why she framed her. Right. Isn't that great? Yep. Love when, when people do yep. lessons like that. Oh, yeah. It's so helpful. Oh, yeah. yeah. Been helpful in our past. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Emma came up and called her Dairy Queen, and I almost wet my pants. Yeah. I did, <laughs> but she's like, hey, Dairy Queen. Yes. Very funny. Love. How did they know she was the Snow Queen? Because well, because remember, they went to the ice cream parlor, and they yeah. found all everything frozen over. Yeah, nobody yeah. said she was the Snow Queen. Well, they don't know she's, they haven't called no, her we're Snow Queen. No, we are her. She called her the Dairy Queen. Oh, right. yeah. She She's... didn't say, hey, Snow Queen. She went, hey, Dairy Queen. Oh, yeah. Her name is Dairy Queen now. Like the Yeah, that'd be awesome place. if her name was Dairy. <laughs> that would be dairy. funny. And then she was a queen. Dairy Queen. I know why they'd call her Dairy, but not because of the ice cream. <laughs> but don't. <laughs> what? Stare. <laughs> what, is he, what is he talking I about? I don't know. Dairy. Let's just move ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you saying so what else happened i'm sitting on pins and needles and little icicles i don't get Um, oh i get the icicles (laughs) finally regina took out marion's heart regina sent henry to the vault Uh to get what she needed in order to to, she said i can save marion 
Um, and he comes back and he says, you really need to clean that vault. Up. Like a closet. Like yeah, it's right. Like a closet. Her closet. And uh, she ripped Marianne's heart out. So now what she's not telling Robin Hood is that now she controls Marianne. Right. She probably she knows can, that. Well, she's not going to crush it because everyone just, would know, but she can say. Oh, I, I, I would huh? crush it. Well, you're easy for all that. That's you're why not. I love Regina so much. Rubber duck, rubber duck. Don't go over there and kiss that Robin Hood. Break her one neck. She can do that. What is wrong <laughs> with him? We got a great big convoy of hearts here. Rubber duck. Yep. It's too late. Got a couple of seat covers here. Teddy bear on your right. See, I know all the, all the trucker lingo. When I was a kid, there was huh? a movie called Convoy, and we all loved it, and it's huh? just inappropriate and awful. But they had collector cards, and I had the collector cards. And it taught you trucker lingo. Imagine... Imagine us buying her collector cards with trucker lingo on it. <laughs> what was wrong with parents in the 70s? Yeah. What is wrong? And now they're in their 70s. But what is wrong with them? Trucker lingo. I blame Lawrence Welk. Trucker. For all of it. That's what I... I blame Lawrence Welk and Laugh-In for everything that's wrong with How that dare generation. you? How dare you blame guess, Laugh-In? Guess what? <laughs> Hee-haw. Mom, Can my, I blame mom me? Hee-haw. Was, my mom was a former trucker. <laughs> <laughs> he was... said that to me when I was a baby. Yeah, Are you, you implying did. that I didn't tell you the truth? Yeah, you yes! taught, he taught her to tell everyone I was a trucker. Just think over time. Not that there's anything wrong with truckers. All the things I may have told you <laughs> that <laughs> you're going to find. He's like the Snow Queen. You can't ever tell when he's telling the truth. Ah. Oh, no. He's got ice bars. Ah, I'm trying to... Yep. They call me the Dairy King, and we all know why. So, Rumple no, was waiting really for don't. the Snow Queen. Yes. And... Mm-hmm. And he asked if Miss that would have been actually creepy because if she was in regular outfit and she he, she wasn't wait and she wasn't walking over to him, that would be creepy. It's like a murder. What? <laughs> it's like a murder. <laughs> what? Happened? When did we have? Oh, because you was give to Jack the Ripper. What's going was, on here? He was sitting on that log in the woods, all creepy like, and then she and walked by and he was like, "Hello, dairy. Hello, um, dairy. But he Hello, asked, dairy." <laughs> Hello, Dairy Queen. Uh, no, he said, hello, Dairy. Queen. Dairy. Uh, did Miss Swan remember you? And she said no, and he said, that's good for you because it could happen, and that would be... Disastrous. <laughs> yeah. I can totally say that quote. <laughs> yep, good one. <laughs> okay. He said, he said, but essentially it's just gonna, it's gonna really be bad for her if, if Emma remembers, because she yeah. must have done something really Well, that, I think when he said wrong. it would be disastrous, that that's what he's implying. <laughs> he didn't say disastrous. She said disastrous. I said disastrous. Um, and he you, keeps waiting he for disastrous. her to get desperate yeah. enough to make a deal with him. Right. That's what he's uh-huh. waiting for. Oh, she'll get there. And she knew Emma. Right. When yeah. Emma walked up before, she was like, Emma? And she looked really... Right. And, I mean, that was more yeah. than her just going, oh, I'm meeting somebody from yeah. the town that I've heard about. It was absolute recognition. Yep. Well, she, and Emma knew that, too, because yes. I was like, yeah, she said that she just heard about me, but nope. But why doesn't she remember? I don't know. What's happening? I bet she took away her memories. June. Maybe she got the rock trolls to do that as well. Yeah, and could be. she does... How do, she takes away the memories. Zzz, that's what it sounds like. We don't know. No. That's how they do <laughs> What are you, a Foley artist? a sound effect? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Elsa and Kristoff. Wait, wait. I want us all to forget this whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're in flashback land. So, no kidding. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's so. reminding me of your fevers. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Elsa and Kristoff are debating her leaving. And he's he's trying to convince her to stay and take care of the kingdom. And they find out that there's an army heading toward Arendelle. Not and- any army, Prince Hans's army. Right, which is basically Hans. his brothers because he's got like 40 of them. And that- Actually seven. Ah. Twelve. Seven. Something. Seven. You're going to doubt her? No. It's seven. I had a friend when I was growing up who had ten brothers. I could not live. So they had 11 kids? Twelve. Two girls and ten okay. boys. <laughs> Why would I guess twelve? And you're like, I had eleven brothers or ten brothers. You you should have said ten brothers and one sister, and then I would have been like, oh, it's twelve. It wasn't interesting to have one sister. 
I can't count just one sister. Exactly. So, okay, we're in flashback land. Okay. Yeah, oh, yes, we oh, are. Oh, yes, we are. I'm reminded oh, of your Did fevers. you guys freak out when you saw Hans and he yes. looked exactly like the drawing in the movie? Yeah. Yes. This casting has been unfreaking believable. But Hans was the best because they even had how he kind of. He has the his third side degree burns. burns yep. Side burns. Yeah. What are third degree burns? Those are real severe burns. Real like big contest. side burns. So fourth degree is when it reaches down and touches at your neck. Attached your, to your neck. Beard. Yep. That's what you're gonna get. You know it. And then the, I'm bringing sexy back. A big neck beard. Then you're gonna shave your hair. Yep. <laughs> what? That shh. Don't tell. Is that my Christmas present? Uh, you bet it is. Uh, Okay. Are you going to take away your eyebrows? Almost there. Kristoff is watching Hans and his brothers, and uh, Hans trapped Elsa and traded with Rumpel. So he's kind of putting all this together. Right. That he that that Hans is the reason that Elsa got trapped in that urn. Right. And that and and that Rumpelstiltskin is involved. Right. And Elsa. Who didn't see that coming? This girl. This girl. Okay, Rumpelstiltskin, they, they're going to the Enchanted Forest. Rumpelstiltskin is there. There's deals to be made. Of course he was involved. Yes. Uh-huh. Elsa wants to avoid war, and um, she, so she and Kristoff are going to uh-huh. fight the guys themselves. Right. Yeah. Right. I thought she would ice them. I thought it would be pretty well, yeah. easy for her. And then they're like, oh, we don't want you. He says, I don't want you to use magic because then he'll know you're here. Good! Freeze them! Yeah. Just freeze them. Well, no, she was going to make a cool slide. She goes, what do you want, a slide or a spiral staircase Yeah. to get down from the cliff? How fun is that gift? Uh-huh. I'd be, Why I'd not be just making... make a big block of ice and crush those guys? I am talking about all the ways that she could make life fun and enjoyable. How about an icy fireman's pole? <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing about that that sounds pleasant. Could you imagine how you'd feel by the time you got down to the bottom? Um, you would be a popsicle? No, it would be <laughs> far worse than that. Yep. You would be very raw. Yep. You're the one that wanted her to make something special. I think a, a frozen slide would do the same thing. No, it would not. It would to me. <laughs> Besides, the cold never bothers Elsa, and Kristoff's got all that layers. Yeah. So she would sing the pole never bothered me anyway. <laughs> oh, I mean, Dude, you feel this Does everybody else think their skin anyway. is being ripped off. Right. <laughs> Boy. They'd have third degree ice burns. So they go to the cave they where the urn her. is. Yes. And it's got its own little nook. No- uh-huh. Yep. Like a little niche right yep. in the wall there. Right in yeah. the cave wall. And as soon as she picks it up, it gets this weird writing on it. Uh-huh. Yeah, she says it must be like ancient writing. And then in Did comes... you notice it, Molly? Did it look like anything you've ever seen? How would I know what ancient writing <laughs> aren't looks you, like? Aren't you well versed in ancient uh, I read texts? books of mythology, but what did you don't call it? Mythology. Okay. Of Greek mythology, but there is no pictures. Way to go, Rick Riordan. No pictures. No pictures, so I don't see the writing. Well, we keep you sheltered, so you're never going to see it. And the what? writing is clearly not on the wall. <laughs> right. Oh, boo. Uh-huh. So so in comes Hans. Well, at first, Kristoff wants her to destroy it. Right. But she yeah. doesn't want to because she thinks, what if it lets me know if there are others like me? Right. So she's holding on to it, not letting it go, and Hans comes in. I would and... just take my thing and just boom, in this boom. Okay, do it, but. but Hans comes in I and would you use your boomstick? <laughs> yeah, and he no he, my boom hands. <laughs> boom hands. He opens the urn and out spills ice. The Snow Queen goo, and it's it's the like ice when queen. Elsa came out of her the her urn when she same urn. It was the same urn. They just oh, traded okay. places, yeah. right? And and the Snow Queen came out. Uh-huh. Yeah, and it was at this point after I don't remember. Ice and people running and all that, and yeah. then she reveals to Elsa that that's when she fi- we find out that she's her aunt, and I call shenanigans on that. No way, I, no way. I agree with you. I thought I she don't. was lying. You think she's her aunt? Okay. Yes. So she has to trade the urn for Crystal. But that's where she got her white hair. 
That's where she would get that. From her aunt yeah. or if it's her mother. I'm correct. I win. I won once upon a time tonight. That's you, it. You can't win. Oh, I, I can. love when Kristoff Christo- said, no one thought to check if it was empty. Right. <laughs> after he dumps out the queen. That was funny. Yeah. So, so. excellent. What, is there anything else left to this episode? No. That's it? Molly, you got any final thoughts on it? Good. I loved it. Other oh, than man. Other into space? Nope. I Other thought than I it was it. one of the best. You know what? We say that every time. It just, this show's excellent. I love this show. Yep. I want this show to run for a million and a thousand and a thousand and a million years. Well, I can I tell don't... it's getting late. Thank you for listening, everybody. You can find past episodes of this, all thousand million, million thousands <laughs> of them, and all of our social media links at our website, which is www.southgatemediagroup.com. Yeah. You can also find us on iTunes and Stitcher. Uh, please rate us, review us. It helps other people find us. Uh, you can also, we talked about it on the last episode of Cuckoo for Who. I don't think we've talked about it on here. Uh, we now have our own provider page. So if you go to iTunes and you click on Southgate Media Group under Provider, it takes you to our provider page. It has our logo and it has an About section. and It's, it's just really cool. We're super proud of this. So please go there and check things out and try out some of our other podcasts. Um, and we have different categories. So if you like these kid-type ones where we have Molly and us, we have a whole category of family-friendly shows. That's it. Thanks again for listening, everybody. Now let's end this the way every great fairy tale ends. Happily ever after. The The end. end! If you would like to donate to help pay for this and other Southgate Media Group podcasts, simply go to our website, southgatemediagroup.com, and click on the Donate button. It can be as little as a dollar or, well, as much as you want (laughs) help keep this fun going by supporting this and our other shows thanks again for listening everyone you're the best fans in the world I love that name. It's all ice cream. All right, let's go. Oh. In. Yeah, because that's what... I just recorded that, too. We actually have it on tape. You having a realization. Oh. <laughs>